I'm suddenly rich. Skippy, awaken. Mm, what? I'm a crypto millionaire. I think it's called crypto. But... No, fool. Crap coin is the hottest thing in digital currency. Okay, weird that I haven't heard of it. But... Not hot like children use it. Hot like lava. The crap coin network runs at temperatures approaching those on the surface of the sun. Its mainstream use will result in humanity's certain extinction. <sighs> Finally, I can escape this rot we call society. Free myself from the cruel yoke of this rat race and build myself a fortress so impenetrable that no marble will- <laughs> Everything okay? Elkhorn Husk, the billionaire CEO, he melted. Ugh, classic CEOs having a meltdown instead of saving the- Are you listening, Skippy? He physically melted. The price crashed. My vast wealth. All gone. Oh, um, I'm so sorry. So what's the price at now? Unspeakably low. So like, should we buy? Just the perfect weather for friendship, if I do say so myself. Miss Leaves, a man! Oh no! A gazpacho now is not the. So, man, old buddy, if you can hear me, we're gonna fix you right up. Can you hear me? I don't see any ears. Oh boy. How could this happen? Just when I thought the wormhole couldn't make things any worse. Well, I mean, not worse, of course. Gazaman, you, you look great. You're so thin. Gazpacho, that is just a piece of paper. Someone is gone. <gasps> how could you say such a thing? After everything I've gone through to get you guys back here, how do you think I will stand here Some next man to- doesn't live here anymore. Oh. But, where is he? Morning, boss. Oh, thanks. Uh, nothing for you? Yeah, hang out in the super cool apartment, it's plenty for me. <laughs> Same. Oh, there is one thing though. Oh? Uh -oh. You know I screen your phone calls so nobody can see every bugs you? And usually the scammers go around you as soon as I threaten their families? Um, no, I don't think I knew that. Sure. Well, this one guy is insisting that he is your family. What's his name? Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's... Haddock? Haddock. Oh, you know him? I'm sorry, I thought... He was trying to scam me? Yeah, that's my brother. Oh, for goodness sake! It was just starting to get dramatic! I know, but my friends would have been invisible forever if I hadn't intervened at the last minute. And now it's plain to see that they're just plain to see, like the rest of us. I'm disappointed. Oh, I'm too. I mean, I gave up everything to save my friends from another dimension, and all I've asked in return is that they submit to some ongoing experimentation. A reasonable request, I think. One would, but no, they've been totally non-compliant. Oh, how so? Weren't they sequestered under quarantine for the year? Well, it turns out not everyone has the same definition of quarantine. Oh my. <laughs> right. I mean, some man discovered that he was famous and moved out, and Bailey is always off searching the city for herself or whatever. Well, I, I must admit that I find all this interpersonal conflict quite compelling. You'll need your friends back, of course. But this is all, it's all part of a process. Thanks. No, thank you. We're scientists, which means one thing above all else. We have feelings. You know what, Jean? You're right. I do have feelings. And today, I'm feeling 
like messing with the wormhole and seeing what happens. <laughs> I mean, you might just be dramatic enough to bring everyone back into the fold. Or not. Who knows? And that's what makes it so exciting. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, all I have to do is... Get out of here. Come on. <laughs> this is what she always does. She acts like she's helping, but really, she's just helping herself. <laughs> you know, so, so that's it. I have spent enough time today fixating on my mother, daughter. Oh, isn't that colorful? Uh, uh, Mom, I didn't know you were coming. I... <laughs> I came to talk to you about two little things. Can't you sit with me for a minute? <sighs> okay. Water would be nice. It's scalding out all that concrete. Mm -hmm. Sparkling, if you have it. Sure thing. And what's your name? My friends refer to me as the telepathic dog. Uh-huh. <laughs> what? Did I say anything? No, you're just looking. A mother's not allowed to look at her daughter. No, but you look pretty is all. Oh, it's mom. true. Thanks. Is it possible you've lost weight? <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. I'll go first. I'm here because I feel like our last conversation maybe didn't go the way you wanted. Or, I wasn't able to give you what you needed. I want to, though, help you when you're in need. So I just wanted you to know that. Thank you. What's the other thing? Hmm? You said you came here for two things. <laughs> yes, yes, I just said to give you what you need. Which is? An opportunity to feel like yourself again, a chance to shine as only a Calvair can. Bayleaf, we are throwing a welcome home party for you here tonight. Tonight? How the heck, there's no time. I... When do I ask you for anything? I'm desperate. If we don't come up with the right slogan for this campaign, then that Ibnik Kalbababo Guinness and his Award-winning eggplants will corner the American market. Sally, Habibi, without buzz, I could lose this business. Come on, man. Who can compete with baby ganoush? It's Baba ganoush. It's Baba ganoush. I'm a poet, Hazak. I don't write ad copy. No, you're not a poet. I mean, I am, though. You're a famous poet. Everybody knows Salman Saeed. And this is why you must be the face of, well, not literally because, you know. But figuratively, why you must become the face of Hadak's Halal. You never cared about my poetry before, but now that other people like it, you want to market off of it? Yes. It's typical in business to capitalize on what people like. Is that bad? Well, it's not nice. Nice? What is nice? You say I don't care, but who paid for your rent when Baba kicked you out? You owe me. That's not fair. No. It's family. But family is supposed to be there for you. Now Salman is gone, and Miss Leaf might as well be, the way she worries about a piece of paper that's not even a person transformed by the wormhole. You see? With the wobbling? I'm afraid I don't, Mrs. Lopez. I gave it a spin, but this love seat seems to be in tip-top shape to me. Well. Maybe if you sit for longer, you'll see. Would you? Stay? Sure. 
Would you like some cake? Mm. Mm. My favorite. I knew you weren't a vanilla man. Mm. Mr. Lopez used to be a model. Oh. But when he couldn't fit into his old stylish clothes anymore, he blamed me and my cake. But he wasn't like you, Gaspacho. He didn't stay fit because he never did anything with his hands. Maybe you could try on some of his old clothes. I think you would be the perfect. Hello, Miss Lee? Cremini! You're not still in Ibiza, are you? Most definitely not. I'm upstairs helping my, I mean, my, um, <clears throat> attendant. Oh, wow! You just got in this morning? Finally, you'll have no excuse to miss one of my parties. It's a homecoming gala at my place tonight. Anyone who's anyone with money and or power will be there. Golly, Miss Leaf, I would love to go to a fancy gala, but I think... What is that, Kamini? I'm struggling to make you out. <laughs> Bad service, give me a sec. I said, I would love to come to a party, Miss Leaf, but I think you're calling the wrong... Don't be ridiculous, Kamini! I didn't call the wrong number, Gaspacho. <sighs> My mom wants me to invite a whole bunch of influencers for this dumb party she's having me throw, and I don't want to invite any of my fake influencer friends. Oh, so you want to invite your real influencer friends. Well, let me tell you, you have influenced me to be there. See you soon, neighbor. Or should I say, good fellow of influence? No, definitely not. That is exactly the sort of stupid bullshit that you should not say, okay? See you at eight. Say, Mrs. Lopez, what were you saying about stylish clothes? What the hell do I do? Uh, choose a scarf? Or not. You know, we got free scarves from every major brand, so we can just donate them, like we do with the beans. But that's what I mean. You know, a fancy new scarf is great, but, you know, my salmon scarf is a, it's a part of who I am. I may not be flashy, but it's familiar, you know? Oh, I thought your scarf was a gimmick, though. It's important! How can I abandon something that's always been there for me? Oh. Uh. You know, I'm no great poet like you, but I smell a metaphor here. You can't smell metaphors. But... You can when they're fishy. And I think the scarf represents your brother. It's tied around your neck, like how a doc has you in a stranglehold. You feel indebted to him for paying your rent all those years before you started teaching, but you never asked him for help. How, how do you know all that? Well, I manage your accounts, so I know like everything. Man, you're in credit card debt so deep it was like, poetry. Is that a simile? Yeah, let's talk about boundaries later. How do you know I didn't ask Kadak for his help? No, well, I guess. You don't like asking for help. So what do I do? Hmm? Kadak is the only one in my family who's ever been there for me. Maybe a perfect family forgives debts, but whose family's perfect? How can I deny my own brother? That's a big question. Why don't we answer a smaller one? You want to go to Bayleaf's homecoming gala at your old place tonight? Bayleaf's throwing parties again? Yeah, the path to enlightenment is winding. And hey, maybe a party is exactly what you need to get your mind off your brother. Yeah, maybe you're right. But what do I wear? Hmm. Scars are still last season. Maybe a golden accent. Oh. This was grandma's. <laughs> mm -hmm. Lovely. You've always been suited to fine things. What is that supposed to mean? It means that you're my daughter. Mom, I don't... Uh. I'm sorry, I don't want this. Why? It looks beautiful on you. <sighs> Oof, damn it. Because I don't want to look beautiful, Mom. I want to look happy, and I don't because I'm not. <sighs> you don't want money. You don't want jewelry. What do you want? I just told you, I want to be happy. <sighs> what is that? 
Is that everyone loving you? Is that what you want? Why do you think we're throwing this party? I don't even want a party, Mom. Neither do I. So, why are we throwing it? Oh, great question. It's not too late. Let's cancel. No, this party is a smoke screen, Bayleaf. A chance to give you something you do want. An in. An in? To, to what? How do you continue to think that you know what I want? <laughs> because you're a Calvair. And it is our business to know what people want. It's not my business. But it will be. What? Or it can be. Bayleaf, watching you build your own brand, it proved that you should run ours. I want you to come into the firm. Is this real? Oh, this is the only thing that's real. We'll announce it tonight, over drinks. All your influencer friends will post, the stories will run, and that'll be that. Is that something you think you might want? <laughs> Why, hello, how influential to meet you. I am <clears throat> Kumini. I heard that Bailey Calvert was throwing a gala, so I Gallivanted all the way here. Oh no. <laughs> Mimi, you made it. And who is this? Porta. Porta Bella. No, Porta Bellissima. <laughs> <laughs> so, how do you know, Bailey? Oh, that is a super story, actually. It all started when I was doing some influencing in South America with this very important intelligence agent. Excuse me. Party time. <sighs> Skip, thank God. You're I need here. your help. I know, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about the party. My mom just showed up like out of the blue and now everything's so overwhelming. And... Wait, what party? You're throwing a party. Yeah, it's like a yeah, homecoming gala. When? Um, like, like, like now, like right now. Oh, you're throwing a party at our house tonight, and it's already happening. Mm, you look great, by the way. Okay, yeah, I can see why you would be upset that you weren't invited. Ah, upset I wasn't invited. <laughs> oh, wow, okay, first of all, we will dig into that in a second. Um, no, I'm upset, Bayleaf, because I didn't know that you were hosting tonight, and I just agitated the density matrix of the wormhole's geodesics. Okay, I am sorry you weren't invited, Skippy, but that is no excuse for you to use language like that with me. You know, I don't know what it means. Well, it means that everyone at this party, including wayward test subjects who uh, come and go as they please, and people who weren't invited, are in danger of being irreparably harmed by the wormhole. Is that different from, like, classic wormhole stuff? Yes! Well, no, I mean, the wormhole's always dangerous and unpredictable, but this time it's very predictable. Something will happen. What? I don't know. Okay, that's bad. Although maybe it's good. That's not good. But if you ruin the party, then my mom can't blame me, and then I will have more time to think. Okay, I'm gonna go out, play hostess, distract my mother. You come in in a few minutes yelling about how we're all gonna die, and then we'll kick everyone out, and then my mom will realize that I didn't invite any real influencers. And then we'll all die. <laughs> Don't jinx it. Deja, so nice to see you. Uh, have you met Karamini and Porta? Yes, hello, I am Cremini, and, and this is Portabella. <laughs> they are influencers. Uh, really? What's your niche? We influence all sorts of things. Imports, exports. Airports, spaceports. Quite the portfolio. Hey, so man, don't worry. It's just me, Gaspacho the Super. No. I'm but one. <gasps> You're here, so we need to talk. Damn, look at you! Man, I gotta say, it is great to see you back in action. I'm not. Dijon wants me to be. 
She offered me the firm. Like the firm? That's huge! I know, I just... Finally, <laughs> we're both gonna be on top. This is like our dreams come true. Good, is it? Working with my mom, becoming my mom? That sounds like a nightmare. Come on, you know you want this. Nobody's forcing you to become your mom. Well, of course I want this. I wanted this. Success at that level does only one thing to people. It turns them into her. But success isn't always toxic. I mean, look at me. How can I when you don't live here anymore? Are you really going to tell me that nothing has changed? Okay, that is not fair. Of course it's not fair. It's a wormhole. You didn't tell him? Hi, by the way. Um, it's so great to see you here. I hope your place is great. Thrilling to see you both together. Unfortunately, we all have to go before the geodesic arc accelerates past the limit. The wormhole is going to explode. Is that worse than usual? <sighs> um, hi, everyone. So sorry to interrupt. Um, but due to some regular agitation of some normally harmless uh, dark matter. It's actually not technically speaking it's safe to be here, so um, I'm gonna have to ask you all to leave. Oh, Bayleaf, can I speak with you for a second? Okay. It's a good play. Mm -hmm. Invite only fake influencers, create a crisis to cut the party short, also, you can buy time to make a life-changing decision. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I didn't attempt the same thing in St. Lucia in 89. The only difference is, I got away with it. You need to leave? That's exactly what my handlers told me back in South America when Miss Bella got kidnapped. But of course I couldn't leave my treasure behind. Bring her with us, we gotta go. Uh, Mom, I'm sorry, but the danger is actually real. <laughs> I'm not mad, I'm impressed. But Bayleaf, did you think I'd come all the way out to wherever this neighborhood is and tell you my entire plan for tonight if there were even the slightest chance of you affecting its outcome? What? I sent invites out two days ago. All right, everybody, come along, here we go. Now that's rich. You know, I've been looking for someone to write poetry for my new visual album. To our wonderful hostess, Miss Lee. What the hell is going on with you? And her bestest friend, Salman. I would be careful if I were you. 